um, grinder pump issue. Um, a homeowner claims he was falsely charged with abuse or misuse of his grinder pump due to what he felt was an unfair appeal process. Um, what can you do as selectman to establish a fair appeal process to prevent this from happening to someone else? Um, more than 500 grinder pumps, pump households um, want to know. And I'm glad you brought that question up, uh, Brian. I, I have the same question, and when that gentleman came in front of the board last at our last meeting, um, I was very concerned that um, it, what the pr process was and, and why it appeared from the homeowner's perspective that it was not um, a fair process. So I was planning on speaking with the chairperson, the chairman of the board, and asking her um, what is the procedure to go about um, reviewing that as a board and what could we do because I honestly did not understand what the board's rights were at that moment when it first when the question first came in front of us thank you um, George grinder pump okay and the homeowners uh, feeling that they were they didn't have a, a fair appeal process right okay I was I was absent uh, due to some health issues for uh, two meetings but this evening I was speaking, I was that on the grinder pump committee, I was the liaison to the Board of Selectmen. So I'm fairly familiar with, uh, and, and Mr. Foley, who wrote that letter, is an extremely bright guy, and uh, he worked extremely hard, and I think there were a lot of people who, who have grinder pumps that obviously would never have had them if they had a the second choice. Um, and I think some of them have been treated unfairly, and I think a lot of it was re rectified during that uh, period where we had that. Uh, we, we, as a matter of fact, we, we they wanted the uh, at the town meeting, and uh, there was a new grinder pump uh, ordinance put in. And as I was talking to Mr. Barton, who was one of the key members of that committee, um, I, I, there's some some technical questions that only an electrical uh, engineer or something could could answer that regarding regarding their uh, generator. Uh, my my opinion is that the town uh, the, we have it's an enterprise fund with the the sewer department. We we grab a little bit extra money with the uh, uh, we, we we charge uh, the, your sewer bill is, is what you your water bill is, and a lot of that water doesn't go through the sewer, so there's a big surplus every year. And I don't think there's anything wrong with the town eating a little bit more than they should of that bill if uh, if it wasn't just, uh, you know, uh, an error of the, uh, of, the, of the user. But I'd like, I've yet to see, uh, you know, somebody professionally tell me what, what actually happened. I mean, there's two sides, and the town made a decision, I guess, and uh, I, I'm not really in favor of that decision. It, I guess part of the question is around the process itself. And is there is there a way that the selectmen can make a, a, a more fair process if it isn't fair? Well, I think I don't like think that. we could change the I don't think we could change the, the bylaw. Uh, but I think that we on, on each individual uh, I think we could, we should have could have. I wasn't there, so I shouldn't say should have. <clears throat> and I don't want to criticize anybody on, 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 uh, that I serve with. Uh, and I'm not saying I'm right, uh, but it's only my opinion that we probably could have been a little bit more fair to the people. Okay. Thank you. Um, 